Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to the second day of spring. Today is Monday, March 21st of 2022, and uh, just like the first day of spring, kind of wet out here. Temperature's comfortable. It's 40 degrees out here. I don't know what it was this morning. I think it was like 37, 36, somewhere around there. But welcome to Monday. Let's roll out. Uh, no, this wasn't planned. The uh, war wagon wouldn't start. She turns over fine. She just will not light up. It sits there and goes, dun, 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 will not start. Not the matter. Definitely not the battery. Yeah. Dang. Great. Oh, I guess it's a good thing we got a second car. Mm -hmm. I guess it's a bad thing. This is our second car. Yeah. All right, Mama, let's roll. All right. Well, Mama, that was a very wet, very wet drive to work. It was very yucky. That Monday done roll back around again. It did. It is amazing how fast that comes. I know it. But. Man, it seemed like a nice, long, super relaxing weekend. Yes, it was. It was a very nice weekend. Sasha and Annie, especially <laughs> Sasha, she's sitting in there going, it's Sunday again, right? Yeah. You could and tell you she the <laughs> was not ready to do her weekday ritual. Nope. Poor thing. Yeah. Pouring down rain, so she don't want to go outside and run around on her cable. No. Nope. She just gets up there and paints herself to the shop wall on that bench. Yeah, she does. Oh, doesn't move. Uh, I'm going to get me. wet, old belt. I know she doesn't look good. <laughs> she needs to get wet. She stinks. Yeah, she's a little dusty. Yeah. Well, Mama, yes, uh -huh. let's roll out of Monday. All righty. All righty. Love you. See you. Bye. Love you. All right. Bye-bye mm, now. I let this thing sit on the charger almost all day, Friday. And it came up. I showed you it was sitting there at point three. That's usually where they stop. So uh, you can't test them right away. Actually, a lot of times the, the tester tells you there's too high of a surface charge on it to let it settle for a, for a bit. So it settled over the weekend. Hooked up the old tester to it. And, well, he's getting a new one. <laughs> Jeez, 0% health. If if it has any, it's just not completely zero. There's like a little, I don't know what you'd even call that, one or two percent. But the uh, tester immediately says bad and replace. And um, people do it on these and they're kind of a pain in the butt. If you don't have the, you still should always, always back flush through the ground module. Actually, I think they still call them a ZFE on here. It's sitting, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, those are probably ground modules on these. Telltale tender on there. You're risking it. But I see a lot of people do it on these R9Ts, so I haven't had any, uh, any issues. But still, just buy the CAN bus charger and do it like you're supposed to. Out sportsman's. I, uh, I did a naughty thing this morning. <laughs> I just couldn't resist and then there's a law about to be passed in a month or so and i just want to be ahead of the curb anyway oh i remember what i was about to tell you so for 21 i believe it was 21 22 bmw and all their wisdom decided to put a double or i think it's a single yeah i think it's a single usb port right there that's great that's super handy but when you look in your owner's manual, it tells you to only use a BMW charger and connect it through their proprietary DIN port here. And uh, guess what's not there? So the manual also explains how to use the USB port, but when it comes to charging the battery, you have two choices. Either charge it through this port that no longer exists or take the battery out. Oh. That's not an option on one of these. Not an option. <laughs> You'll see what this looks like when I take the battery out. It is stupid. I realize they're using an existing design and you know, that you, you had to have that look and essentially that battery's been sitting in these um, HB2 essentially 
um, those radial four valve, these, the, the really nice last air oil cooled engines, as you can see, they still exist. Um, I understand, you know, still using the old air box and all that stuff. So the battery is just put where it's always been. It's just now in an R9 T that's not a very convenient thing to get to. <laughs> and I think this is the BMW battery the same excite of course it says bmw all over it and you buy it from harley it says harley all over it but it's the same excite battery man i tell you what sometimes you can be your own worst enemy you know last week sometime i was talking about you know going through the list and you go through and check everything the service writers have the ability with the computer to go through and click those i don't like when they do that because now i got to go through and recheck them if they're already checked off, how am I going to go over my list? But anyway, there's more at the very top of that page, but it shows the customer name. Oh, I won't show you the name anyway. But um, anyway, maybe you should look at the list before you do work on it. So where I got hung up here is I didn't go up there and grab my um, oil filter yet because we use the... Um, BMW oil and drums over there in the corner. So I go up there, guess what? Sitting with the oil filter. Normally, that's no big deal. But on these right side, godforsaken diffs, this is your drain. And inside there, you gotta have the wheel off for the fill hole. So I've already gone through Taking the little stand thing apart here because that washer is big enough it won't let the wheel come off. Torqued everything down. Everything's nice and beautiful. Now I got to take it all off. Anyway, that's my little crying for the day. And I, I got no one to blame but myself. So uh, I'll accept all pats on the back. <laughs> hugs. Air hugs and, and pats. So they, it'll be okay. You, uh, you're an idiot today, but it'll be okay. <laughs> Hold off on the air hugs. Or you might send me some Prevagen or something <laughs> like that for, I don't know if this is a memory thing. So I did. I sat here after I got off the video and went through the procedure. And I'm sitting there, I'm looking at that bag. I'm going, that's the wrong washers. There's an O-ring and a copper washer for the bevel gear. Actually, there's two O-rings, I think, on these. But you only replace them if they need them. So I go through the list. Not doing the bevel gear. It's the transmission. The bevel gear is not due until 6214 or the 10,000 kilometer service. He's not there yet. So it's the bevel gear oil, which is a drain right here and a fill right there. So I'm going to have to take the wheel off again. But I do need to go up and swap that out for some uh, transmission oil. Not sure why someone, I know, you know, at 621 miles is its first service, the break-in service. Um, the diff doesn't get changed until 62 or one year, whichever comes first. And that pulled up on his schedule when you entered into BMW. So they, they know time and stuff like that. But either someone you need to have. This is not like my tools at home I showed you guys yesterday. You know, a little budget, this and that. You know, this is doing this for a living. You, you, you buy the best tools, you know, the high-end stuff. Anyway, good torque wrench. You can, this, uh, the drain bolt was so over torqued or it was reused usually that's a sign of being either reused or over torqued see how it's all lipped had to pry that thing off the um, um, uh, fill plug which is a bigger plug was so crushed I had to literally bind the thing up and cut the thing to get it off and I was able to work the uh, drain, this is the drain for the transmission. This is the fill for the transmission. It looks just like a drain plug, but it's a different size. 
they'll be fooled. This is the drain plug. It looks just like this for the engine, but you'll see the washer is not even close. So it's um, large, medium, small. So you'll have three different washers. Dude, you got to torque these things correctly. You need to have a good torque wrench. Don't be messing around with that, especially on a BMW. So it's 32 newton meters for the engine drain. It's 11 newton meters for the oil filter. And 30 newton meters, 30 newton meters. Don't mess around with this stuff. That kind of thing can take the threads out in this engine. And, um, yeah, that, you don't want to... Trust me, you don't have to deal with that. Imagine retapping that thing and putting some kind of time cert Healy coil or whatever in that thing. You're, you're pretty much going to pull the motor out and replace, pull the transmission apart. I keep forgetting to bring this up. This was like the middle of last week. I did a F3. I put the backrest and stuff on. Um, I think we did a service. I don't remember what all we did on it. I, know, I remember putting the backrest on it and something else plus the service at any rate um that nice gentleman when he come picked it up towards the end of the week he i can't show you the things because i think i would get copyrighted by showing these um years ago i did a video and my daughter bought a carton of winston cigarettes and they're sitting in the back seat with uh um hayden her son and uh, I got that video, got copyrighted. Anyway, he got me an assortment of uh, like some Blue Nun, um, a couple of breweries I haven't heard of before, and two um, Guinness. I don't know if the guy knows I'm half Irish or or what, but or he just, I think he just went and picked up an assortment of stuff he liked and thought I would like it. But, um, uh, I don't want to use names and stuff like that, but thank you very, very much. Unfortunately, I haven't drank in over a couple of decades, so um, I will pay that forward to a deserving soul. I haven't decided who that's going to be yet. And I got to be careful. I think some of the people here at the store aren't even drinking age yet. But um, anyway, thank you so very much. That was very awesome of you. And... um I'll let you, I'll let you know, um, what I, what I done with it. But again, thank you so very much. So I was just picking up my tools and putting them away. And I just, uh, one of them is that snap on torque wrench. And I was thinking about, you know, I was telling you guys, use only the high end stuff here. Customers, I am sure would expect such a thing, especially when you're working on BMWs. And spiders but uh, I was thinking that torque wrench I probably spent more for that torque wrench probably twice the amount of money I spent on every single tool I showed you guys yesterday I can almost assure you when I say those things are budget that I have at home I mean you add up all that craftsman stuff that probably adds up pretty good but yeah really that's that's about as budget as you can go because eventually someday i'll take all my tools from work when that fateful day comes along that i'm not doing this anymore i'll have all those tools here i don't want to spend a whole bunch duplicating high-end tools at home and you know I, I don't do that for a living at home by any means it's just tinkering with my own stuff nice and slow and easy so the budget stuff gets me by. It wouldn't, some of those things wouldn't work for work tools. Although I do have some of the Pittsburgh stuff that I, that I use for, you know, emergency stuff where I need some oddball thing. But for the most part, yeah. I don't know, that was going through my head. I thought I'd tell you. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even got to the battery yet. There's the fuel pump battery's still still buried down in that hole these are the pieces so far you gotta be careful don't want to scratch the tank and virtually without exception that gas tank is going to be slammed full right to the lid there my friends is the battery how about that 
So how he's got his tender lead going up here to this post and it was being grounded underneath this plastic cover and this aluminum frame, that's, that's not gonna work. So we're gonna put his tender lead on the battery and I'll reroute it so the fuse is accessible to him, maybe even under the seat. I can, you can get it down in here or something. We'll, we'll come up with something, something nice and clean. Get that cobbled up mess out of the top. I mean, look at that, that's a mess. So we'll fix him up. No wires. It's because they're all tucked in neatly in between the frame. Then I found a little cubby hole for the fuse. Should he need to get into the fuse, she's just hanging right there. None of that cluster waiting for sparks to fly underneath there. There you are. Just gotta do the front brake fluid tomorrow. Uh, run it, make sure the oil's good, and uh, we'll be done. But there we are. Look at this woman. I mean, it's we're an hour from sunset, and look how dark it is. Anyway, that deed's done. All right. Mama keeps just shaking her head. She goes, I just don't get it. Don't they all do the same thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but differently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she goes, I'm gonna show you differently. <laughs> And I'll knock Wait you out. out of you. All right, That's mama. it. Some more crop supplies coming. <laughs> There'll be a big Amazon order tonight. Yes. <laughs> all right, Mama. Let's head on home. All right. Sounds good. All right. God, we got to put gas in this thing, don't we? Oh. Holy Toledo. Oh, that's going to... Ooh, we got 65-mile range. Oh, man. That God. tank's going to be empty when we get north. Yeah. That's gonna, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's that's right. three days. Oh. The old war wagon's 51 bucks for two days. Yeah. Or better yet, 51 and 55 cents. I saved us five cents <laughs> over right, the 300 that. mile range. Man, I was cracking some gas mileage. Yes, you were. Actually, I wasn't even paying attention. It just happened to be. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. All right. Well, hot dang. It dropped 30 cents. I'll take that all day long. Well, hello there, YouTube. Made it home. Good Lord. 7.30 at night. Messing around there with sportsmen. That can take forever. Then stopped at Red Apple. Got some stuff. I stopped and got gas. That's cool. The gas went down 30 cents a gallon. Yeah, I vote won't for that. Won't complain about that. Uh-uh. It's still, still high, but... Yeah, not as. Still took... 77? 77 yeah. bucks to fill this thing up. Holy moly. Yeah, that's like you said. Yeah. Then you go three days on that. Dogs are running amok, carrying on mm -hmm. out there. Well, Mama, let's let these fine folks go. Oh, we got right. some frozables back there. Yeah, I got put the car in the garage. And I don't think I'm even going to mess with that old CRV to damn it's not to move. It's late. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Uh, Kelly was talking to Ryan. He says the uh, fuel relay is really common when they get really old like that. And he said, just, they just sign off all of a sudden. He says, check the fuel relay. So we'll check them yeah, tomorrow. We'll figure it out. Yep. All right. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck yeah. All right. All right. I'll be there for that. Yep. We'll see, see you, you guys in the morning. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye.